I have spent more in the past three days than I have in the past five months. Every summer people has a huge sale and they usually spend way too much that I like at least 500 kroner but this time I was really disappointed with the selection that they had I only ended up walking out with a necklace I got this chain necklace because I've seen many like these and I've always sort of wanted one and it's it's silver initially you think it's silver but it's got this sort of holographic thing that I don't think it's turning up on camera I also went to be quick a second time just to you know scope out the place again maybe I missed something and I found out I did miss something because I bought two more things the first is a dress it sort of reminds me of those Brandy Melville sort of style dresses that are just flowy and nice but those are always so short so I was like I'm just gonna get this because it looks similar even though it's kind of dark and in the summer you probably want to wear something light who cares you know the second thing I got was a sort of cropped shirt this will look so nice with yeah, high-waisted pants, skirts, anything high-waisted, and then like a nice statement necklace. Like I can just see it clearly. I went to H&M initially to buy some self-tan. I got some L'Oreal self-sublime tanner spray thing. Don't have it down in the bathroom because I used it already. It was, it's kind of difficult to work with, but I think like I've used it twice now and it was definitely easier the second time. So if I keep on using it, I'm hoping it's gonna, you know, look better and better every time. Now they also had sales on a lot of products. Their eyelashes were go their eyelashes were going for only 20 kroners and they were originally 50 so I bought four packs. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't even wear eyelashes that much but I figured like I might as well stock up on them now when they're inexpensive. I decided to get this sort of crochet lace um, blue one. It's pretty basic. Crochet blue lace. Going for it. And of course I just got the bottom set. From Yinokiko, I got some necklaces because they have the best jewelry, I think. I first got this really delicate little uh, necklace with a sort of blue rock at the end. And I love my big, chunky statement jewelry. But it's just also so nice to have sort of small, dainty, cute little things as well. Oh my gosh, this is all tangled now. But the second necklace I got, it may be layered, but it's all the little gems on it are, again, small and dainty and cute. And I they're just great. You got some of these stones, this little triangle, and this stone thing at the end. Last but not least, I went into Vedumula, and I wasn't expecting to buy anything there because I usually, it's not really my style, that whole store, but sometimes you find something. And today I found two things. I was just about to go out of the store and, uh, you know, I didn't find anything that was really interesting me. But then I saw like these awesome t-shirts. Before I show you them, I want to say I love sort of graphic looking t-shirts. You know, just very simplistic and it's uh, of uh, Meet Me in NYC. The second one I just, I think is so cool. This is a really nice quality one. It's, it says no filter, but backwards. Uh, that's not the word I'm looking for, but that, that, it's, it's, it's cool looking. So this was a haul. I am actually so glad I got home when I did because it is pouring outside right now and I was walking. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.